was that explosion? What explosion? EV. Piece of Eden detonated and took the lab with it. The magic lump of hyperbolic metal. I'm shocked. Simply because you have never valued the pieces does not All mean... went according to plan, hmm? <clears throat> There was a slight complication. How slight? The lab exploded. Jacob. You derailed a train. Oh, he did. Did he? Well, the train derailed and I happened to be on it. I killed my target. Brewster is also no more. Then all in all a successful mission in spite of you two. What about London? What about it? We're wasting our time out here. You know as well as I do that London has been the domain of the Templars for the last hundred years. They are far too strong yet. Patience. The Templars have found a new piece of Eden. Sir David is dead. They do not know how to use it. The Council shall guide us. Sound advice that your father would have seconded. I shall see you back in Crawley. Patience, Evie. Ah. Oh. A gentle sound of opportunity passing us by. So what's stopping us? London is waiting to be liberated. Forget Crawley. Father would have wanted us to listen. Oh, Father. You could continue his legacy in London. Freeing future generations from a city ruled by Templars. You know, Jacob Fry. You might just be right. Then shall we? Yes. Let's. Onward to London. What's going on, guys? It looks like we are on to London with Jacob and Evie. And this is pretty much uh, the start of sequence number three. I've given you guys sequence one and sequence two. If you want to check those out, if you've missed those by any chance or just want to recap them, there's a link down below in the description. Uh, to the Assassin's Creed Syndicate playlist, but this is sequence number three, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to hit that like button, and let's see what happens. I know, I know. You've only had a taste of our latest acquisition from Abstergo, but I want to check in on Sean and Rebecca. I still think attacking a Templar is a mistake. Dr. Grammatica. Come on. Oh, Isabel. What a lovely surprise. Our mutual friends will be here shortly to search for the artifact. Once it's located, I'll let you know. Super. Always a pleasure. Prick. It's people like you that give historians a bad name. I'm afraid I don't have time for you today, Mr. Hastings. Thank you for making my job easy. Oh, shit. It does look grim. Masterberg, Agent Acosta. Deal with them, please. Move it! Hunt them down! I've never seen so many people all at once. <laughs> Churning seas of London. It's just the way Father described. Now, to find Henry Green and formulate a plan of attack against the Templars. Who's Mr. Green again? The assassin watching over London. Did you not listen the first three times? Listen to what? <laughs> Oi, watch it. Ben pardon, sir. Oi! Come back no. here, you... Can you believe this little boy took my wallet? Really, you're gonna try the old bump into somebody, take their wallet and run away trick? You know I'm fast. I got my Nikes on. I'm chasing this kid. All these people are in my way. I gotta figure out where he went. Let's see if we can go through here. Oh, okay, of course. I ran into a wall. All right, so going down through here. Don't, no, 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 don't climb on the wall. Don't climb on the wall. Hopefully, I don't lose this kid. I don't even know where he went. He's gotta be through this alleyway somewhere. Okay, I got his, I got him back 40 meters away. All of these people are just in the street. Move out of my way. You see me running? Move out of my way. All right, we've got to be. It looks like he stopped. Oh, of course. Of course, these guys. Well, you know what? I think uh, 
I think it's time to get some of these fists. Oh, you want to pull out some knives? No. Don't even try. Okay, those didn't. That didn't work. Okay, the quick shots are kind of working. Hit him with the fist. Knock off his bowler. I'll never get tired of knocking off someone's bowler. The one guy is just kind of dazed. <laughs> That's the weirdest finisher. I think I like his other finisher a little bit better. That's kind of uh, a little too superhero-esque. Not sure I'm a fan what of that one. Does London have to offer? Who is... Okay. So nobody else. Ah. There's Evie. The time to find Henry Green? I've always been the quicker climber, haven't I? Not since we were two. Oh, really? Really? You want to race me? Come on. You know, I already said I have my Nikes on. Let's see if we can beat Evie all the way to the top of this location. Oh yeah, I'm already gaining ground on her. She's done. She's done. I'm already gaining ground on her. Get out of my way. Oh, she's taking the shortcut. I'm going up this building. This is going to be a way quicker way. Come on, climb, climb, climb. Almost there. I don't even... Wow, what a jump. You know what? I could have used that lift to the right. Didn't... Really didn't even see that. But you know what? We're fine. We gotta jump. Oh! How did... I have no idea how I landed on that, but look at that. We beat her to the mark. Where is Mr. Green's shop located? It was marked on Father's map. Two assassins. Equal in height. One female, one male. Two decades old. And those devilish smiles. You must be the Fry Twins. And you are? Henry Green, at your service. I was sorry to learn about your father's passing. Thank you. What can you tell us about Crawford Starrick? I suppose the Council desires news. London must be freed to provide a better future for all of its citizens. Well, thank goodness the Council saw reason and sent you to aid us. Yes. Thank goodness. Unfortunately, I am the bearer of bad news. Today, Starrick sits at the helm of the most sophisticated Templar infrastructure known in the Western world. Every class, every borough, the gangs, the industries, his reach extends all across London. I've always thought of myself as a gang leader. Firm, but fair. Huh. Well, I have uniforms. And I'll unite a mix of disenfranchised outsiders under one name. That's it, Evie. We can rally them to our side. Oh, like the way that you rallied those car players at the Oakwood Tavern into the river. Oh, that was different. They beat me at whist. I can see it now. We'll call ourselves... The Rooks. You were never good at chess, either. Have you got a better plan? Find the piece of Eden! Oh, well, let me show you the lay of the land. Shall we? All right, so we've met Henry Green. It looks like I have to climb this giant smokestack so we can synchronize, kind of see where everything's at. So let's see. Looks pretty basic. Nothing too challenging here. Oh, so it's spiraling around a little bit. Lots of little handholds for us to go up. Probably can't make this jump, so we gotta move to the right a little bit. Alright, easy enough, easy enough. Wonder if we can climb the pipe. Oh, no, looks like this is easier, so we'll go over this way. Alright, finally at the top. Don't fall. Kind of afraid of heights, so please don't fall. Please just walk on the plank. Walk on the plank? Okay, there we go. Now it's time to sink. Look at what Starrick has done to the city. Whitechapel is riddled with crime. Child labor, despite regulations. A gang known as the Blighters overruns the streets. And Templars manipulating behind the scenes. As in all the other boroughs, we need to return this city to the people who built it in the first place. We will free London from Starrick. You have my word. I my looks. Miss Fry, your passion is inspiring. Come. Let us return to my shop, and I can bring you up to date on the rest. Okay, so, well, what's he doing? Oh, he's doing a leap of faith. No, see, I'm a little too afraid of heights to be jumping from this distance. Evie, why don't you go first? Okay. I guess I have to go first. Okay, deep breath. Deep breath. Right trigger, left stick, B. Oh, man, yeah, I'm getting a little nauseous just jumping from here. This is what I do when my wife makes dinner. I just kind of jump down from the balcony, down like that in the haystack. Let's see if we can see Evie fall down in the haystack. Oh, yep, there she is. Mom, the meatloaf's ready. 
Okay, so now... So it looks like Stark has his gang leaders around. So we, oh, why is this lady bumping into? Why did she look at me like that? It's not my fault. She blatantly walked right into me. 100% her fault, not my fault. There. So Stark is, he has his gang leaders out here in the streets. We got to be a little careful here. Again, what is up with these pedestrians? That guy walked right into me. Come on, man. Well, let's shine these clinkers up then, shall we? All right, Henry Green, where are you taking me? Can you pick up the pace? Please. Please. This is my chance to step in. Okay, don't walk into the child. Okay, see, look at that child. That child had a good awareness. It moved out of the way. All right, finally, we're going to run. Let's see where we're going. Oh, he threw that lady out of the way. Confound this city. No one looks where they're going. Yes, I've noticed that. Bloody drood. I'll never finish it at this rate. Only Providence knows where those words are headed now. Well, I must get to work replacing them. Should you ever be in the mood for a tale or two, you can always find me where the ale is warm and tempers are hot. Ta-ta! What an odd man. That Mr. Fry was Charles Dickens. Knows everyone and everything in the city. If I were you, I would keep that connection in your back pocket. <clears throat> Kalok's gang is nearby. They must not follow me back to my shop. We'll take care of it. Yeah. You might be able to use this. Oh, God, I hope so. My carriage is nearby. Make use of it to throw them off my trail. I will meet you at the curio shop. All right, so we've got to make our way... Oh, this is Grand Theft Carriage. Instead of Grand Theft Auto, we got Grand Theft Carriage. Why am I... Why am I shooting the gun? I guess to get them to follow me? Okay, let's see what we can do. No idea where the controls are here. Hopefully we can... Okay, left stick and X to ram. Oh, <laughs> all the pedestrians! Oh, no! I feel bad for the pedestrians right now. This ramming mechanic's pretty cool. Oh, my. I'm killing so many pedestrians. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that guy got launched. He got launched, too. Wow. Wow. That was, uh, that was a little interesting. I'm probably... A pretty bad carriage driver, but that's a lot of fun. Okay, so it looks like. All right, cool. So we got a little mini map updating me, letting me know where to go. This is easy enough. So A to use the boost. All right, I don't want to kill the horse. I'm probably gonna slow down on that a little bit. I have to admit, these environments are pretty cool. Oh, the little kid! Oh my god! I almost killed a child. I'm sorry. I'm pretty good at the handling, though. I'm not. Oh. Oh, okay, that was good. I'm a pretty good driver. Oh my god, again. Just cut the corner. Oh, okay. I wrecked. I was doing pretty well and then kind of ran in that carriage, but we'll be okay. Alright, so it looks like we're coming up on Henry Green's shop. Right about here, I'm going to pull in front of this carriage. And let's see what Henry Green has to say. You give them the slip. We gave them more than that. <laughs> Who are all these people? Over the years, I have established a number of connections across the city. Splendid. We'll need focused aid. Focused aid? <sighs> we take over Starek's gangs. We cripple his control. You're not aiming high enough. Starek has influence in every branch of society. We need to match him. I see what you're saying, Evie. We need the Rooks. You are not starting a gang called the Rooks. I believe I may have an idea of my own. We will need the police to turn a blind eye to activities. My ally in the force, Sergeant Aveline. I've heard he's a master of disguise. Next up, urchins. 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 Children make for excellent spies. Clara O'Day. Smart as a whip, that one. Finally, you would be wise to remember that Starek never acts alone. There are gang leaders in every borough. You'll meet them soon enough, no doubt. Rexford Gaylock, known for his ability to vanish before your very eyes. Should we make him vanish for real? I suppose. One moment. Um, a Templar target you might want to look into. Uh, be cautious. It's rough out there. No, don't worry about me, Greeny. I can handle a few thugs. Alright, so that's going to do it for sequence number three. Again, as always, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more of these, 
make sure to hit the like button. That helps me out a ton. If you want to subscribe to the playlist, it's down below in the description. As always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more Assassin's Creed Syndicate gameplay coming to you guys very soon.